The Dark Ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! 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 What's going on here? Wake up, Artyom! It's me, Khan! Nightmares, eh? No wonder, after all you've been through. Listen, I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's Hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe through a tiny hole in his throat. We found this place a while ago, but I still can't get used to it. Привет, Артём! Artyom was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, that's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the Order. Well, anyway, uh, where were we? The story is, construction started in Stalin's time. Oh, you can't went down the U.S. Oh, yeah. oh, Did you hear what happened to him? Hello, Artyom. Welcome to the armory. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? We must get a drink sometime to celebrate. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure it looks cool enough? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military-grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, 
but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment for merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. Haha, <laughs> alright. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. Rangers usually carry up to three weapons, Artyom, and the choice of those is completely up to you. Lesnitsky? What are you talking about? Check Open with the, the guards at the lab. Door. Shit. 44. What the hell did he do? Syria. Opening up! Alright, let's go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife. Weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords even in death. Reminds me of this bunker. Cut that shit out! The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel and wild steeds and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts. Or their own greed. Come, will you shut up or what? Hey! I heard that Lesnitsky did something. What happened? Nobody knows. Lesnitsky was at the lab. When the next shift came, the door was open and the lab ransacked. Lesnitsky was gone. Shit! So, what's inside? Chemical weapons, maybe some other shit. That's... that's all I heard. God damn it. The Colonel's going to tear me a new one because of Lesnitsky. A red-hot poker right into my soul. If I still have it. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Open it up. 
We might control D6, but it's like a damn city down here. All the bunkers, the nooks and crannies and exits. Still, a base the order dreamed of finding. Guys just came back from the ring. They say Kansa is strengthening the sentry points along the whole line. Especially Miller the ordered all our Kansa. men assembled here on this base. Let's hear what he has to say at the assembly. I have a bad feeling. Kruman, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. From D6. Yes, yeah. With these treasures. All right, go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. The bombing of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. Machines with different wiring. Somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire, the connection with the Dark Ones. Yes, people died at Exhibition, your home station. Hunter, the best of the Order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue, the old laws no longer apply. All right, Artyom, and you, God, you have something to report? Yes, Colonel. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily! Come, this is utter madness! The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Orders ever faced! Colonel, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right. Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper along. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Orca's job. Miller, you can't! It's murder! Restrain him! You idiot! You're making the same mistake that... We're done here. Escort Khan out of here. Artyom! It's your last chance for forgiveness! For getting rid of the nightmares! Ah! Forget about Khan. Looks like he got close, too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Artyom. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming, and I'll need every ranger at his post. Now on your way. So, what are you waiting for? Come along, rabbit. Artyom, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna can have a clear shot. But do me a favor, huh? Don't let the Dark One get into your mind. Or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? We now suspect Lesnitsky was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. If Lesnitsky escapes with the container, the entire family will be. Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the Dark Ones. I wish I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Come on, Rabbit. Would you let those things into the Metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Shit. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the platform. Straight coming in. All right, hop in like a good little rabbit. Well, we've worn this place out. Let's move. In the past, trains were ordinary things, but now, 
This monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things. And their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. at the Dark One's nest. That's a good sign, Rabbit. Maybe we'll have luck with this mission, too. Power's working. Open the gate. I'll cover the passage. Great. You did fine after all. All clear. Move out. Great. The ladder. It's just a little more walking. Then we'll see if you're a rabbit or a man. Surface. Put your mask on. at my ass. It's way out of your reach, rabbit. Give me a hand here. Let's go to the main entrance. There's a good shooting position there. I can cover a lot of territory. You're supposed to be immune to their... what? Influence? Well, I don't have your gift. So hop along, rabbit. Head on in and look for the creature. I'm thinking that since the Dark Ones are so fond of you, it'll sense you, or smell you, or whatever the fuck they do, and come from hiding. Just try to stay in the open so I can cover you. We'll maintain radio contact. And if you have second thoughts, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay then. Good luck. I'm in position. I can see you. Something's still burning where the nest was. That's some fine wasteland. You guys sure did a good job here. It's strange. What could still be burning after all this time? Some kind of movement. Get ready. On the right. I'm working on them. Those aren't dark ones. They're white ones. That helm was bad luck. Get ready for more. Another trick.
is your trial. If your skull has the correct proportions, you are free to go. If not, you are an abomination. Science, you see. This is an outrage! I told you to stay still! Well? Let's see. 318 millimeters by... Uh, 302. Let's look it up in the table. Ah, congratulations! You're a mutant. No, no, please! Do the garbage shoot. A safer question. What was your mission in the garbage? Go to hell yourself, Nazi! I'm gonna count to three. One. Glory to the red line! Two. Long live covered Muffin! Three. Please, please, I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk. But, but, but away from the other side, they'll kill me if they hear. Okay. Take this one to the second unit. Usually, Reich does not interfere with the Order's business. But here, we have you, the Reds, and the Freak, all caught in the same net. I do not like it. So talk, or take a bullet to the brain. Get the officer! Hey, you! <laughs> Here. You keep the knife. Keep it. So, uh, you are with the Spartan Order? I'm from the Red Line. Uh, our superiors are not on the best of terms, huh? But I say fuck that. No, oh, fuck that. The grunts stick together, huh? <laughs> the fuck? I see. Oh, you see. Remotely controlled lock? One thing's for sure. Our only chance of getting out of this alive, work together. Right. Now, what did they say about the garbage shoot? Okay. Let's get our asses out of this place. Then we'll go our separate ways. Huh? See the pipes? This is their contingency plan. There's a riot and an escape that just open the valve and turn the prison into one big gas chamber. Sooty. Sure learned from their predecessors. Shh. We'll go as soon as the elevator leaves. Let's move! Sweet mother of God, I heard rumors of a concentration camp here, but to see it with my own eyes. Bleha muha. There's a tunnel on the other side. Okay, I lead, you follow. Now keep it quiet, or they'll guess everyone. Let's move! Stay out of the line. You'll be out soon. We all will be. What do you mean you released me? Are you out of your mind? I don't know. Just looked at him and somehow saw myself. 
and that trader from Hansen kept pestering me to sell the creature. Said it would be a waste to shoot it, that it'd pay good money, so I just... Show me the bullets. Sure, sure, look. I'm ready to share. It's too much for me alone. Just don't tell the Oberschaffur. I got 200 bullets out of it. I'll take half. Well, well, why are you walking around? It's just that our shift is in. Then you have no further business here. Walk to the barracks with you. Yes, Herr Oberschaffur. He's already leaving. Get an airlock! Now! Let us out! Let us out! There's a control you panel up there. You, you can open all the cells! Sure. You to the inner block? Land of fun is just starting, Billion. Here! Catch this! Hmm. Nice watch. Ah, this little blue indicator, it lights up when you're visible, huh? All right. There's bound to be more guards further ahead, but they won't be able to use gas here. We can really let ourselves go. Ah, I wish I had a grenade. No breakthrough even without it. Let's move here. Yeah. Get the airlock. such the features, you know, capturing these freaks, as they call them. I thought it was bullshit. They claim if all the mutants reproduce, the population of the metro will be infected and die out within two or three generations. They're like the Nazis from the last century. We fight for the purity of the human race! Svolci, yes, by extermination. Move yet. So, how are you, Chuvak? All right? Oh, you are tough, huh? No wonder they made you a ranger. Follow me, don't stop. Security, make way! Fortune has smiled upon us. Our scouts have located a real treasure trove. A legendary B6 bunker complex. Huge storage facilities filled with supplies. There is medicine and enough canned food to sustain the Reich for a hundred years. And enough weapons for us to wipe the freaks and genetically impure from the face of the earth. has been seized and occupied by Spastumatera! What do you want? A new break! Two you prisoners give more to the guards and escape! What the hell are you doing here then? Don't get them! Get this Over here! Hurry, I'm too Get 
Wonders. Shit. A dead end. Hold on. Whew. End of the line, huh? Well, there's no helping it. Поехали, we hoof it from here. Follow me. Seeing this tunnel on any map. Phew, we're still on right there, though. Be careful. Opa! A pipe! Come here, Artyom! Okay, <clears throat> give me a lift here. Post. And what if this fuck is not alone? Attention, second guard post. Check your sector of the tunnel. We caught a rat in the vents here. Stay sharp. There might be more. Roger, checking up. Over. Pavel's almost certainly going to hang. Who knows? What would have happened to me had he not released me? Red, blue, yellow... What difference does that make? He risked his life for me. You don't get that much in the Metro. I can't just walk away on him. You wouldn't abandon me. I knew it. You're a true comrade. I mean, you're debt for life. Now get me out of here and I'll lead you home in no time. Fuck! Fuck, they're coming for me! Gonna take me to the noose! Good luck, my friend! You're my only hope now! Come on, get your ass out here, you fucking commie rat! got my gun in my pants, while you left yours at the whorehouse. <laughs> yeah, that gun of yours is going to be so much fucking help when the Reds come for your ass. Well, the ass is gonna cook now, and that would be it. So... Shit! Alarm! Let's move! It's gonna be another Stalingrad around here! I dragged Pavel out of the noose, and he says he's going to take me as close to police as possible. Then I'll contact the Order and report on everything that has happened. The path to the legendary theater lies through the catacombs. 
I've never been here before, and without my new friend, I'd probably be completely lost. I hope he knows the way. <laughs> That's the way to do it, bro! Just like the three musketeers, I, if there were two of them. <clears throat> you ever read the book? Really confusing, but I fucking loved it. Always wanted to be a toss. Uh, you can be D'Artagnan, huh? All right, we're short on time. We go to theater from here, then you off to police. I head back home to the red light, okay? I don't like how they gave up the chase and locked the gate behind us. Not a good sign. Shit! Just have to see about that. Ah! To hell with that! There is no retreat spot and Moscow's right behind us! Forward! Stop! Blyat! That's why the Nazis cut the light. These things hate it. Okay, Spartan, a short lesson. Bullets won't cut it here. But since they are afraid of light, let's take the light to them, okay? Right in their fucking nest. Shit. That's a lot. Yeah. It's got the wolf! Ah, oh, uh, eat this bitch! See its belly? That's the only vulnerable spot. Their top armor is just too tough. Okay, Artyom. If we run into one of these things, put your light on it till it flips belly up, you understand? The bastards hate the light more than anything. Come on, follow me. Thanks, Chuak. One for all, huh? Oh, that was cool. Genius. Good thinking. Ready? Okay. First up. Follow me. We're almost at the theater now. The metro entrance should be pretty close. But however small the distance is, we'll have to cover it on the surface. And there, every step you take could well be your last. Chuvak, we're here. Pull yourself together. We don't have long before nightfall, okay? Okay, with the tunnel collapsed, the only way to reach the escalator down to the theater station is cross the surface. And trust me, we don't want to be caught out here in the fucking dark. So, let's move? You know, I've heard of things roaming around that even bullets can stop. You have been through some bad shit, I know, but not like what's coming. Achim. Remember, if you want to live, don't drop your guard for an instant, okay? Whoa, that's impressive! I heard about this place. That plane was headed into Moscow when the whole city caught fire. Uh, the building where it crashed, that's the entrance to the theater. The ice is towing up here. It's almost like spring, huh, Artyomich? Maybe we'll live to see the summer. Wait, 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 wait. There's got to be an underground path somewhere around here. The rangers would never cross the square out in the open. Okay. We could walk down the wing here. Okay, so much for the sun. Those clouds moved in fast. You are my own.
I've heard stories about this place. Weird shit happens here. Hey, try opening it. I'll give cover. Jumped. Oh, blah. Let's try together. Moving. Look, Artyom, don't lose your head in here. You understand me? Okay, let's go. One ranger told me this was a flight from Mallorca. Family is returning from vacation, you know? You know, Artyom, I've never been to the sea. Or even on a plane, myself. Yeah, well... Wasn't meant to be. I feel... I don't know, I feel... Weird. Chuck, are you seeing this shit too? Artyom, what is this? Show my you! Look! They're alive! Probably have suffocated like the others did. Ooh, like this, <laughs> like this one here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of this place now. Now, Artyom, go right. I think we'll find the entrance behind the building. Shit, the demon! Take it down! Take it down! The entrance to the theater is around the next corner. We have to move now. Follow me, faster, faster. Come over here. Go. Give me a hand. Faster. More are coming. We have you to find the entrance. I love you. Shit! Too many of them! We have to ward the station! Get to the escalator! 
Hurry up, now! Move down, they're still after us! Open up! to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by direct plane. I wonder if it's such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Oh, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? We gotta do it first. We're waiting for the guys. More refugees. This happens all the time. But why? Why to us? So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is fitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through, and you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. And have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Bullets! Oh, oh, you can drink anywhere. Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the field. Come back in ten minutes. When you change your mind, it all begun. I gotta think. Show me your ticket. Think faster. Look, there is another tourist there. If you don't buy this, he's shooting. Did you hear Oh, sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. If you'd be so kind, the can help. The Bolshoi stage has never witnessed anything like this before. No? Enjoy the show! Sorry for the other performance Sorry, now. man. There Time to move on. You patron of the art. Such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race far of our expectations. Oh, and Pavel Igorvich. So glad to see you. This man Where have you been? In the eye of you don't danger. like us Challenges anymore? Helen, no, sto, I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, to you, Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have a lot It's no good. Why can't you work and buy you something better? So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, 
Muskidir are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Move it! Hey, stop that, blad! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Yep. What about Comrade Corbin? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Hoppa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you have information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, Artyom. Hey, Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbut. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence! He's Nitsky, or one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since official enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the evil doctor of probing and calculations. Huh? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lunia must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> Still nothing, huh? Hey, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power 
without blood. There is. Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him. Get back here! You're a thug. God damn it! Butcher. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastard. And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son. Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Corbett! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom! Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents! Clayton, sit down, Corbett. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans! The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right? I'm... Moscovin. When you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. For it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau.
Because one of these days. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground at the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned targets? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck then. Serving the red line! 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 Now I am in a real spider infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbut. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesnitsky bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target. Stay down, or your brain goes splat! Wait a minute. Artyom, is it you? I was able to send the report back to the Order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the Blacksmith. At least Miller will know that I am alive, that I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. That's one serious pickle you're in. But I can help. I have friends, and they have friends, who can relay everything you tell me to your guys from the Order. So, now you must return home to Polis? Well, there's no direct route. Everything's cordoned off here. But I believe the Order has an outpost nearby. On the surface, the church and the marshes. Try that place. If we can get word to your people, they might meet you there. As for me, I started life anew. Left Kuznetsky most, the Reds completely subverted the place, looking for traitors and spies, sending people to camps, or just shooting them, all because of the coming war. People are fleeing from Kuznetsky most and their whole Red Line. Did you see the armored train the Reds are building? Well, we built something too, with the stuff the refugees are bringing. Here, take a look. <laughs> At this baby, the boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. She did a swell job roaming refugees. But hell, you can't save everyone. So, take it. We have people in Venice, too. When you get there, find Woodpecker and tell him where you left our baby. Climb aboard! All right, start the engine. 
We're still tinkering with her, so the controls aren't perfect. But the lights are first class. No need to fear the spider bugs around her. And there's a lot of those in the far tunnels. You should go! It's a long way, so you shouldn't waste any time. Pavel's group is advancing towards Tretikovskaya, also known as Venice. They have a few hours lead on me and are moving via frequently used tunnels. But I will catch up. I can't believe it. Got there! Who goes there? Stand still or we shoot! We're armed! We are armed! Swear by Lenin's name! He doesn't look like a GB. I don't recognize the uniform. Could he be one of ours? Look at all his weapons. Don't shoot! We are civilians! There are women and children here! Leave and let leave, okay? We're refugees from the Red Line. I'm in charge here, basically. No, there's nobody under my command. All the battle-worthy men went with the other caravan. Half a click ahead. I thought they'd protect us. But they were attacked. We heard the shooting. It subsided. But it doesn't look like our people survived. So we can't go any further. And if we go back, it's the firing spot for us. You look like you've seen your share of fights. Can you help us? It's not for me, but I pity the children. So what do we do now? How do we live without them? They must still be alive. Don't bury them yet. Guys or what? One health can just the two of us be. If they're feeling down, we can flank the bandits. Let's get ready then. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Who's going to protect the women and children? I can't take it anymore! 
Thanks. Thanks, man. I thought... I thought I was done for. It took everyone still alive. The kids, the women. I'll move the rail car so that you can drive through. You follow them. Be careful in the technical tunnel. I heard the bandits talk about the trap there. Thank you again. I'll just rest here for now. What a lovely guy. Nothing so far. Who's thinking in that world? The piece of cake! How long have you looked? It's so shit there, Let me know. Okay.
going. Going where? What the fuck is up with you? To our children. The boss said if we let just one stick stay by, he's gonna have our ass.
me the tale later. Right now we're entering the fairway and plotting a course to the base. The snow on the surface starts melting. The familiar rail cars are now joined with boats and fishermen. One of them appeared just in the nick of time. Soon we'll be docked at Venice. Pavel is most probably already there. I don't usually fish in this tunnel, but I had a hunch they'd be biting pretty good here. Like we lucked out. The subterranean Venice, an island on the dark waters of underground rivers. You always hear rough stories circulating about this place. I hear it is all one huge den of thieves. But there is something I know for sure. Pavel reached Venice, and if I'm not late, he's still here. Finding the Dark One is still my main mission. But now I see I must also uncover Corbett's plans so that I can warn the Order about them. Wow. <sighs> Seems like we made it. Hey, are you asleep there? What do you think of the local fish, huh? Aren't they charming? Mm, seemed moody, though. Looks like somebody went through there before us and angered them. The fishermen are back from the seas! Yeah, I see you all right. And who might that be? I picked the guy up in the tunnel. You don't think I should have left him there, do you? What? And make my life easy? Of course not. First this red, now this. What is this? And I keep raising him over the gate. You could bring a girl for once. And what would you do with one if I brought her, Semenovich, huh? You're way too old for that stuff. By the way, you better lower the gate, or else a woman might actually come. The one dressed in black and bearing a scythe. <laughs> Never fear, Semyonovich is going to outlive you all. Hey, Fidor, how's fishing? Uh, not even a bite, unless you count the shrimps. And they got a few more out of me than I'd like. I was saved by this lad, Artyom. Nice to meet you, Artyom. Thanks for your help. So what exactly did happen? The shrimps were all over us as soon as we got to the fork. Almost took my raft apart. <sighs> what the hell gives? No wonder. Oh, that's easy. The Reds passed through here, going to meet our esteemed neighbors. Didn't seem to care what they stirred up. Ah, so that's why. Look, Artyom, I suppose there is no hiding. Venice is full of gangsters. Julek, the scum of the earth. So don't you start any shit. I don't want any trouble. Simon! Hey! Simon! I want to talk to you! Look, do you know where might our red guests be? In the brothel, of course. Who's that with you? This is Artyom, the scourge of the shrimps. <laughs> You should see him shoot! <laughs> I never met anyone quite as good as him! A gunslinger, eh? Would you help me take out a few bad guys? Simon, I freaking knew it! This is getting old. But almost all of them are gathered at the storage facility. Look, if this isn't the right time, I don't know what is. Between the two of us, we might be able to take them out. I told you countless times already, and I'm going to tell you again. No! I don't need this shit around here! Do you get me? Yeah, I got you. Right. Then I'm going to leave you two. Okay. 
in this station of criminals. How is it he's in charge? Hey, Simon. You're good with engines, aren't you? Yeah, what's up? I uh, don't know. It was all right yesterday. Now it's all right. Just don't hurt the girls! Shake them teeth, doll! From your local boss, bitch. Sure. We don't have bosses on, here. Baby. Cough it up. Are you crazy? They're friends with Kizli. Are you sure? Great. I have to sell all his friends That's for free and still pay him his card. All right, we had some fun. Now it's time for work. So. First thing, we pay Kinsley and you head it to Comrade Corbett. Tell him the virus container's been successfully delivered to Oktyabrska, okay? Hey, pretty boy. Let's Why go. are you just standing up? Hey, what's your message? Did you just don't feel like it. You basically signed that What? Can't wait to touch me, can you, Daragoy? Well, if you want it that bad... What kind of dance would you make yourself comfy, sweetie? So how do you like the dance, Daragoy? I see you liked it pretty much. If you decide to come back, I'm always around. Drop your weapon, bitch. Hands behind your head. Whoa, 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 what an unexpected encounter. Looking for the dark one, huh? Well, maybe there's a hope for you and Polis. But then, um, you're too late. Those dark ones of yours are the real deal, yeah? Comrade Corbett had an eye on them for a long time. Just imagine them domesticated, then unleashed on the enemy. <laughs> hey, 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 steady, steady, steady now. All right, all right, you're on top, D'Artagnan, you are on top. What now? Uh, you were looking for the dark one, right? Well, he is nearby, at Oktyabrska. I can take you there. No tricks this time, you have my word. No! Shit! He got away! Why did you attack the storage alone? You could have tried to call me. Well, things worked out. But you'll have to get out of here on the double. I know an exit to the surface here. There's a swamp, but it's traversable. Let's go. Put this on. That's for the gangsters. If I'm lucky... Our people will be waiting for me at the outpost in the abandoned church. I will tell them everything I know. About Pavel. About a test of some kind they're going to conduct. And will continue my way to Oktobraskaya. The Dark One is there. Powered winch ferry, it needs fuel. 
You should be able to get some in the plane or in the cache at the gas station. Stay out of water if you want to leave. Well, that's all. Good luck, Artyom. Quite a lot of noise pushing through the marshes. If there really are our people in the church, I will soon meet them. Get inside. Safe in there. Come on in. Come on, get inside. Don't waste your filters. I had you sighted when you were way out there. Almost shot you, too. <laughs> that would teach you to answer radio hails. But I, well, I felt it was you. I hope you'll forgive me for the gardens.
For some reason, I was genuinely glad to see Anna, my pain in the ass partner. She finally stopped those wicked jokes of hers. Looks like she's ashamed of having left her partner at the battlefield. I didn't take you seriously before, but Hunter, he read you right from the start. He put his trust in you. It took me time. I didn't understand until I saw you in action, and I almost got you killed. <laughs> you don't make this easy for me, Artyom. I'll stop for now. Go on and get ready. The guys are coming soon and we're all going to Aktiabriskaya. Who might that be? Well... Our guys are fast. Check it out. Just in case. Password! Broad block! That's an old one. I know that voice. Shit. I can't place it. Wait a minute. Could it be? Lesnitsky? Anna, what a surprise. I'm no traitor. I never served you in the first place. We'll take this one back. No! That's it. Move! The Dark One is there. Anna is there now too. In the hands of my enemies. The hands of the traitor. Lesnitsky. Negotiating with the order. Just make sure she wears a gas mask. If she's infected, she's dead and of no use to us. So, what do we do with her? Log her up and keep an eye on her. Anything happens, it's your head. I'll come get her when you're done here. of the red light to stop the epidemic and you're all infected you heard the man we must kill you to save the metro but but we're not even feverish we're can't you hear anything even at the point blank 
great. Unbelievable. Uh, what does it matter? He's gonna die soon anyway. We're here to make sure he does. Finish him! of the puzzle are falling together. And the big picture is horrifying and unbelievable. I will tell the others about this, but I still can't make myself believe it. The Reds have infected Oktyabraskaya, a peaceful station denizens of which never suspected anything, with an unknown deadly virus. And then their mop-up squads entered it under the pretense of saving the station from the epidemic and eliminated everyone they could. Women, children, old people. To prevent the infection from spreading. And if all this is true, then me and Anna could be infected too. We've been saved from being killed, but we don't know if we're going to survive for long. I have a feeling that everything will end soon. We won't survive this war, Artyom. No one will. I feel alone again. Like when I was a girl and father was away on a mission. Nothing around me. Empty and cold. As if I were just a spark from the fire flying away and then gone. It's hard for me to tell you these things, Artyom. But I want to feel that I'm... alive. Touch me. Well, hmm, there seems to be nothing wrong with you. Congratulations, youngsters. You, Archeum, may go. While you, Anna, you have to stay some more. We need to finish treating your wound. <sighs> Thank God. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! Go, Artyom. I'll find you as soon as they finish patching me up. 
Come here, darling. Don't look there. What's that, Papa? Nothing. It's all right. Just don't look. When are we going to go home? Soon. Very soon. <coughs> So, were you able to isolate the agent? Yes and no. It is an Ebola virus. Though. Trying to cultivate it is useless. It's basically non virulent now. Without the original strain. Doctor, you know I'm no medic. Please explain. Uh, I'm sorry, Colonel. Here are the facts. In the first two days, the mortality rate was around 95%. In the third, it dropped to about 25%. Today, we only have two new infected, and they have a light infection, prospects of recovery looking promising. Now, as you understand, Moscow never was a natural habitat for this virus, and in its wild form, it remains dangerous much longer. So, what does all this mean? It is not a regular virus. It's a weapons-grade strain, engineered to achieve maximum lethality within a short time, and then turn harmless. Damnation. Where did it come from? I have heard of a new generation of bioweapons based on this virus, being developed before the war. But where did it surface from now, after all these years? Bioweapons? My god. Just in case, I have some Rangers questions. One of them could have brought this surprise from the past to the Metro. for could really be the last one. We can't lose him. Let's go. But I have to go. But I have to go back for her insulin. She'll die without it. Yo, boys, I'm here. I can't let you go. How can we buy anything when all we have is back there? And Hansen charges so much. The is sure we're lucky, because Tomlin's Rangers were here. Corbett's men clearly didn't expect to be met with machine gun fire. So, all this stuff still there? Well, Hansa could not protect the station without help, but they did provide shelter for the refugees. And the hospital. Perhaps that could help them. In some other time and place, what happened could be life-changing. But there is no time but present, and no place but the metro for us. And we must do everything we can to save it. I have to hurry and catch up with the Dark One. Anna has to tell her father of what Corbut and Moskvin are doing. Anything else is a luxury we can't afford right now. We've got that going! Open up! Soon, the leaders of Hansa, Redline and Reich will meet in Polis. Hoping to reach a peaceful settlement on D6. But I know the nature of man all too well, Artyom. War is as certain as the fall of night. Unless a miracle happens. Most people believe Metro to be just tunnels and stations. A lifeless and soulless conglomerate created by human hands alone. There's a special place in the Metro. The few people who come upon it never return. I call it the River of Fate because it can change your destiny, wash away the silt of the past, and offer the chance for a different future. Is that a sign? The grate is rusted and poorly attached. 
Give me a hand here, Atium. One, two... Ah. Continue burning it, Artyom. Look, water. We're almost there. Pretty close. Must not get lost in it. Do not rush me, and don't be surprised by anything. Enter the water and imagine what you would change in your fate. Think of the dark one. Don't be afraid! You are meant to be here, Artyom! Familiar scenery? It's the tower. And down there is the city of the Dark Ones. It's the moment you watch the distance. Look, that's you. The river will cleanse you. Forgive your sins. You can change your fate. You can do it. Choose your destiny and be free. The Dark One! After him! Faster! Nobody. A dead end. Is this where you almost caught him? You must try again, Artyom. The Dark One! He's still at that freak shop, on the train! Look! After him! Run! Ahead! Faster! Ahead! We've almost caught up! After him!
Damnation! The river almost got me this time. Oh, it's working again. We're back in the desert of the river. When we got out of the river, the Dark One was very close. He can't have gotten too far ahead. We need that miracle now, Artyom. Remember everything I told you about the Dark One. You must save him! And then he just might save us all. I never believed him, and that is no surprise. But Khan's words were true. This strange river took me to the past. The moment where I sent out the signal and destroyed all the Dark Ones. And then it dropped me off at the place where I can find the last survivor of that race. A helpless and harmless child. Khan called him the last angel. The train's somewhere around here! I have this feeling! You hear that? That's the train! We were right! Daddy, we've got to catch it! Big now. Mom, I'm scared. Don't be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of now. Don't leave, Mom. I'm all alone now. You're not alone. You're the first. We remembered you and were waiting. We could remember all the thoughts of our race. And you killed everyone. And now I'm alone. could not kill him. And while I am alive and my heart is beating, I will protect him. Khan says we will be able to use him to stop the war. Yes, he can make miracles happen, but I don't want to use him. His war was over when I targeted the missiles at his home. His family. It 
this good. Here. Shining. All around. Down there. It's hard to breathe. Bad. Letting me go. You're changing. I will be there. In the shining. But I will stay close to you. concerning him might be. The little dark one just does not seem to care. He keeps following me, as if I never was going after him. As if we were tied together by fate. Time we go. You do not see them? You cannot see? Red. Dangerous. Coming to Polis. Together. Come what may. The little one did not want to leave. Something is holding him. Somebody there. Hard to see from here. Where's your identification? I'm not fucking around! Shit. It's alright, people. Stand down. He's a police ranger. Going down to ring? Well, hurry up, then. They're all jumpy. They didn't even want to let us through. People ahead. Waiting for us. Eagle. Get to this team and check all the hands. Men hold that. You 
know him. And he knows you. in D6. Makes you wonder why we have to stand guard. Looks like something important. All right, position taken. Perfect, Lesnitsky. Now it is your turn, Comrade Morozov. We must field test this virus that we have obtained at such risk. I think you had some uh, associates suitable for the task? Yes, Cheslav Andreevich, out of Venice. His bandits think I'm one of them, and if we pay them... Spare me the details. I just need results. Is your task clear, Comrade Lesnitsky? Yes, Comrade General. You killed one of ours. You killed a ranger. Did you think we'd just let you go? We'll see about that. I have a trump card. You. They do it then. And you will have to handle Red Square, Pavel. It's the most critical part, and there's no one else I can trust with it. Do not let me down. I won't, Comrade General. Interesting. But I'm too tired. Need to stop. He is very bad, but you are right. Killing is worse. He who sows the wind shall reap the storm. The Dark One opened up Lesnitsky's thoughts to me. I know all their plans. I know Pavel is going to be at the Red Square. And that's where I have to face him. Before going to Polis. A peace conference is being held there. <laughs> Laughable. The war has already started. It won't stop while there's a person alive in Metro. All trying to stop it could just as well try and stop a tornado with their bare hands. But I still have to try. I have to reach Polis to denounce the liars and face the storm. Shadows here. Money. Don't see me, don't hear. Alive and dead at once. Very strange. It is not a 
shadow. You, yourself. Long, long ago. I know only one way into Polis from here. Through the Red Square. The Order keeps an outpost in the St. Basil's Cathedral. I'll get in touch with our men and tell them all I know. And my goal would be just a step away from there. It will all be over soon. There's danger here. Not like before. I feel it. And we'll be with you. We'll tell you what to do. They are here. For too long. So many of them. And they know. They know we feel. Stand. I will help. Do not disturb them, Artyom. Stay close to me. They've been here for so long. Lots of them. But they are all lonely. Only fear and pain. They can't leave. And want somebody to stay with them. You're a chicken? A chicken or what? You are one tough son of a bitch. Sua! You're coming to finish the job or what? Come on, Artyom! Come on! Come up here, man! I can't chase you anymore, but I can stick the wall through your head if I see it. Don't you worry! Just... sadness? I don't understand. Oh! A knife, huh? Ah, uh, that's my boy. That's my boy. Давай, давай! No remorse! No reproach! Давай! The fuck is this? Uh, you're letting the priest loose on me, huh? Oh, you are some hero, huh? The test at Oktyabriskaya was successful. The virus kills fast and goes inert fast. If we can get enough of it, clearing out the whole metro is possible. But we must capture D6 first. Thus, Comrade Morozov, you have only one chance to pull this off. 
The Order has good fighters, but there are too few of them to cover all the entry points. Our scouts have located a poorly defended entrance through Kremlin. While Miller's at the peace conference in Polis, he will be unable to command his men. That's when we strike. Yes, a week longer, and then comes the dawn of a new age. Artyom, what's up with you? Hey, hey, my friend! Artyom! Isai, you go? You help? Isai, he can't stay for long. Artyom! Artyom, please! Artyom, don't leave like this! Artyom, kill me! Kill me, Artyom! Artyom! to make it to Polis in time for the peace conference. There isn't going to be any peace. Just war. The last war. Now I know the answers to all the questions. Pavel's head proves to be a real treasury of Corbett's sinister plans. Something strange here. Wait. I have to see. Artyom! Over here! Thank God, you're in one piece. And you brought a friend. Wait. Is this? Artyom, this kid shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, so it is, so it is. A child of the surface, a dark one. No! Don't shoot him, Miller. Then get it away from me. No mask. I should have known. This one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a danger. It seems he is adapting well. Yes. That will keep him alive. May I talk to him, Artyom? Colonel Miller, put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too. You go on without me, before I give in to better judgment and rid the earth of it. How is this? Oh, oh, I, I can understand his thoughts. And I can hear yours, Artyom. Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was adopted long ago. But do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you so that they could understand us. What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear. Open this. Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, at the exhibition. It has a strong lock, too. We've yet to break it. What's there? They're inside. Sleeping. Incredible. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's... death... nearby... all around. But I must wake them. 
or be alone forever. Now listen. Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hey, wake, wake up, up, you bastards! bastards. Colonel, can you open the gate where the garden's line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the code for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Follow me. He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Artyom, we already knew of Oktobriska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this, yet he didn't even try to disprove it. He told them by sheer luck their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby. And thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this starting epidemic in its blood. It would have engulfed the whole of it. What can you say for that? Even I would have done the same. But come on, it was Lasnitsky, their agent who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Artyom. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, Moskvin did gear up for war. But after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to peace. And we must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin? What difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! What? You've got a better idea? You brought this ape here! Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're sir. done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me! Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. God, please let this work out. Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards, take this man away. Ranger, stand down! Arthur, little one, it's your turn. Thank you.
Comrade Moscovin, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. <laughs> I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. Maxim, brother, I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother. Silent treatment. What are you looking at me with those honest eyes for? It was your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out, and now he's got me by the balls, all because of you! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so... Just like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes! I did. I poisoned him. And Corbett. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus. And if that falls into Corbett's hands, it's the end. But you are the leader! Order him! Call the troops back! Stall them at least! Buy some time to make a deal! What kind of... There's nothing more we can do here. Hurry! Faster! To the platform! Damn them! I'm not surrendering D6! Follow me! It will be bad for everyone if you lose? Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope 
he was able to forgive us. Me, for what we did to his brothers and sisters, his mother and father. Sitting this time. The red line's advancing on three sides. My brothers in arms. I am not a man for speeches, but here it is. You are the most dedicated, most courageous soldiers in the metro. Each of you is worth five reds. If you simply do the job you were trained to do, we'll win this battle. Sparta to battle! Sparta! Sparta! Demolition. I gave the order back in Polis. Now that we have lost D6, our only option is to destroy it. Count Osinsu, 
What the hell? Not the English forever. What the hell is this? Shit! Not again! Unforgivable waste of men and resources. So many good soldiers lost. And for what? Police station? The council? Ah, well. All are cleansed by the fires of revolution. What a pleasant surprise, Colonel Miller. Or what remains of you? Artyom, it is time. And this be the resourceful young man. Tell me, Archon, savior of the metro. Where are you going? Ah, stop him! Don't be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of now. defeated our enemies and saved the metro. Was my papa brave? The bravest of us all, because he was never afraid to embrace the things he didn't understand. And where did the dark ones go, mama? Away, to a safe place. But they promised to come back. <laughs> 